I'll just give you a quick overview of what I do and how I came to be working at the Fachhochschule. So I started teaching in the bachelor study program of media technology, and I was working as an English, business English lecturer. And um, one thing we did begin to notice with the English course was that the students were coming to the Fachhochschule with a very high level of English already. And the course itself was always a bit of a challenge. What can we offer the students that is in one way helpful for their development in a professional context in the future? And also though, at the same time helps develop their language skills and their use of the language skills. So when Alois Frochnik approached me and said, we are redesigning the program and that there are some ideas with regard to future skills that they would like to incorporate into this part of the program and to use the space that had been allocated for English language training to also teach other skills. I welcome this idea very much because I realized this was a, a gap and it was an opportunity for us to use that gap. And then together with my colleague, Monica Schoeller, who is listening today, she's in the audience, um, we put together a course um, where we decided we would combine English language training with also soft skills and interpersonal training. So that would fit together with the concept and the strategy of the Fachhochschule to develop these skills in the students for their personal but also professional development in the future. And so we defined for the first semester, we defined the topic of teamwork and collaboration. And for the second semester, we defined the topic of personal goals and um, also communication. And we thought there are multiple layers involved in this course and multiple layers that we were struggling with, Monica and I. And at the same time though, the, the lockdown came and we had to teach this course for the first time online. Um, so I'm just going to show you a quick overview of some of the learning goals that are incorporated in these courses and some of the ways that we incorporated that into the classroom activity. So as you can see here, this is a slide that just kind of lists the aims of the course of the first part. We called the entire uh, course Professional Skills 1 and 2. And professional skills deals with the concept of teamwork, communication, and collaboration. And there were multiple goals that needed to be achieved in this course. So the first one was that the students should participate in a teamwork experience. And so we decided to create a project, an activity that they could do together in teams, and it was a video project. And the idea of that was to be able to apply the theory to practice and to reflect on teamwork, to reflect on their teamwork experience on a meta level and to develop experiential learning skills. So on one hand, in the class, we did some input about teams and team dynamic. And at the same time, they were working on a teamwork project together and they were meant to reflect on the theory and apply it to their experience. And uh, another goal was that they should develop collaboration skills. And another goal was that the students should become more aware of their strengths and weaknesses and how to manage these in a team constellation. And then, hold on a second. And then at the same time, we wanted to continue um, the idea of de developing language skills and, um, and their writing skills, especially in English. And so we used the platform Mahara uh, to document their learning pro progress. And so the students were given a range of reflection activities that they could um, document using the, the platform of Mahara and to also develop their reflective writing skills. So we tried to combine the whole idea of developing reflective thinking skills, developing critical thinking skills with also their writing skills in English. And then there was another part where they uh, learned to give feedback, written feedback. And then the second part was that, or the main overall goal was to use and develop English further as a second working language. Um, so 
the first time we did it, we I think uh, we learned a lot from the first time we uh, did the program. We have streamlined it a little bit, but here's just an overview of the assignments we gave them as a way to try and, um, and achieve these learning goals. So they were given a team video project to do together in groups of four, and, um, and they were um, given the assignment to uh, create an e-portfolio on Mahara that documented their progress on the team video project, but also documented their reflection on their teamwork. So for example, who is going to do what part in the project and why, which strengths, which weaknesses were um, recognized in the team and how did you manage that? Um, and also at an end of project reflection, uh, what would you do differently next time? What worked well and how can you, how can you repeat that in the future? And um, in addition to the group project, we wanted to also give them the opportunity to reflect individually and also in a more private space where only the lecturer would have access to the individual learning journal. So the team uh, video project and the team portfolio was visible to the other students. And that's where the students gave each other feedback, written feedback in Mahara. And the individual learning journal was for the, their private reflection and was only accessible to the lecturers. And um, the idea was that they developed their reflecting skills, their experiential learning skills, and also their writing skills. And then we also added 20 points for professionalism, which meant the way the work was presented and also their interaction with each other in the classroom. And so for the second semester, we developed uh, the course Personal Goals and Communication. And here the goals were focusing um, on developing goal setting and planning skills. Um, and also to use creative visualization tools to envision a desired future. And then to practice creating a plan based on that vision and to develop report writing skills in English. And then in addition, we asked them to uh, create a presentation um, that included interacting with the audience. And another goal was to experience presenting online. So we realized, okay, we're not going to be able to do this course in the classroom as originally conceived, but uh, presenting online is going to be a skill that they will probably need in the future as well. So uh, we just adapted it. And in this um, semester, we practiced giving oral feedback. So they already had an introduction to giving feedback in written form in the first semester and in the second semester, they gave feedback to each other in the uh, when they gave each other the presentations. And again, they documented their learning progress using Mahara and also to further develop their reflective writing skills. And again, one of the overall goals was for them to develop uh, using English as a second working language. And in this uh, semester, the assignments they were given in order to, to achieve these goals and to develop these skills was they created a vision board. We asked them to create a vision board. Um, and to accompany the vision board, they were asked to write an action plan report that detailed their short-term, mid-term, and long-term goals and how they intended to take steps towards achieving those goals and how their studies and their courses at the Fachhochschule could support them in doing this. They were also asked to give team presentations in pairs, and they were asked to reflect on the idea of working in a creative industry. What does that mean, working in a creative industry? And there were some very interesting presentations. And they were asked to write then in teams a reflection paper on the presentation and their, and their collaboration in a team working on the presentation. And then again, they were also given points for participation and performance or professionalism. Yeah, so that's an overview of the activities and that's an overview of the goals. Um, we, we learned quite a few interesting things and uh, we adapted the course for this semester and we're very happy that we'll be able to do it in person this time, hopefully, uh, if all goes to plan. Although I believe my colleague Monica is also doing quite a few um, sessions online.